name is Graham Hoyle. I'm Chief Executive of Association of Employment and Learning Providers. Um, yes, well, we're, we're well into our two-day convention on youth employment. Uh, good day yesterday, I thought. And some quite important themes coming, coming forward. Uh, we had a, a really good bunch of young people telling us about their experiences. We don't do that enough, I have to say. We talk an awful lot about them in a very well-meaning way. Uh, but to actually hear direct uh, is sometimes quite salutary often uplifting, um, but always informative. And one of the themes that came out from the young people themselves and was echoed throughout the day was the importance on getting work experience. Uh, that came out very, very directly from them. Uh, but obviously as a theme, we, we have training ships coming up where work experience is going to be a key element of that, uh, and we welcome it. There's obviously a bit of political controversy around the fact that uh, the work experience efforts of the previous government were stopped by the current coalition, so we're, we're politicians uh, in good numbers attending the convention. Uh, that's unsurprisingly been raised. Uh, and, and our view in, in AELP is that that was a mistake, you know, that actually um, moving back uh, on the need to have uh, and to fund work experience at schools um, was a, a wrong move. Uh, it probably was right to be seeking greater impact and performance and effectiveness, that's true of everything we do, um, but to actually cut it back I think was a mistake and I think there's a sort of a growing awareness of that. So it'd be interesting to see where that goes, not just because of the convention, but it was certainly a theme that came through the day. And another theme, I have to say I kicked it off first thing in the morning, um, but it definitely uh, did um, stay with the day. Uh, was some real concern about the focus of statutory education, people before they get to 16. We've been, obviously we're focusing on youth employment, uh, including youth unemployment, and the needs group, 16 plus. Um, and a lot of our time is being spent saying how can we look out, look out for them better. But I did introduce the thought, well, that's critically important with a million 16 to 24. However, we've also got to start taking some action to make sure that they're not simply replaced by the next generation becoming need. And to do that, you're looking at people at school. Now, if you're looking at people at school, you've got to be looking at what they're doing at school. Uh, and uh, I have a personal view, but I think it's very much shared by the convention, um, that the school curriculum does still not yet recognise sufficiently that all of their charges, as I call them, all of their pupils, uh, when they leave school, be it 16, 17, 18, or, or, or 21, 22 if they go to university, where are they going? Well, the vast majority of them are going into work for quite a few years. In fact, we're increasingly being told for a lot more years than you know, we've experienced in the past. Um, now that reality is, is a huge reality which has got to affect the focus of education. Uh, and we just don't believe that that focus is quite right. And so there's quite a bit of talk about how uh, schools need to be focusing rather more. You can see where the work experience thing uh, dovetails into this. On making sure that young people uh, are, are well prepared, not just for a next stage in education, where that is often important, but for ultimately moving into a, a world of work where they need to be able to make the transition and flourish. So a real theme. And interestingly, on the back of that, there's a real consensus uh, about the needs for schools to improve the outcomes in English and maths. Everyone now agrees. The employers have been asking for it for years. You've now got Secretary of State Gove uh, saying it's important. Professor Alison Wolf said it's important. So you've got a great focus on English and maths. Everyone agrees with that. But it's an interesting view that uh, to do that, everyone's got to get their GCSEs in English and maths. That would be a good answer if we were not having to contend with a growing realisation that your GCSE in English and Maths does not cover the kind of functional arithmetic and English spoken and written that's required in the world of work. So at the moment there's a bit of a fight on saying, well, will functional skills do? Or should it be GCSEs? Well, of course the answer is make sure the GCSEs uh, fully cover uh, the functional uh, application of English and Maths that the world of work requires. It sounds very easy, and I do recognise that's quite a... But that's a theme coming through, saying we actually all agree we need to do more. Um, but hang on a minute, uh, uh, perhaps the curriculum overall needs to be uh, shifted a bit. Um, and perhaps English and Maths, even at the GCSE qualification level, uh, needs to be reviewed to make it uh, more useful, uh, usable. 
So those were themes that came through. I think other interesting things, perhaps one surprising, perhaps one less so, uh, we had a very good panel last evening where we had three politicians, House of Lords, House of Commons, Labour, Conservative Government, I mean, it, 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 we had a good mix. Uh, I, 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 and what becomes really powerful is where they all actually agree on something. Uh, we tend to assume they never do. Um, we know there's a huge consensus on apprenticeships, and that's been true for some time, and that was reflected yet again. I mean, that really is important, and the real push to see apprenticeships being part of the answer of youth employment, for youth employment, and indeed older workers as well. That was also recognised. Um, but there was um, a, a, an unsurprising but welcome recognition that what we used to call careers work, or information advice and guidance, we haven't got that right. In fact, there's, we do seem to be slipping backwards in this whole issue of making sure that information is made freely available in a usable form to young people uh, at school. Uh, so real concern as to whether simply referring them to websites is enough. I happen to think that the, uh, the move forward in communication technology and so on has to be really embraced. So um, that's really good. Uh, some people are saying that must be a face-to-face -face for everybody. I actually think that uh, I should, we, it should be available for everybody, but I'm not sure that everybody needs to pick it up. There are people who can find their way around, better than I can, uh, the, the media stuff today. But, but the thing that was worrying people is how some schools still seem to be blocking the transfer of information, especially if it suggests they may not stay on at school. And that was another theme of, of yesterday, raising participation age real consensus that we've got to make it quite clear this is not raising school leaving age. So that you can see how those uh, themes through. So a, a, a big consensus though that information advice and guidance careers work uh, is not good, it's not right, uh, it's, if anything's gone backwards and, and government, whoever's the next government, have really got to pick this one up, even shouldn't have to wait that long but uh, that's got to be dealt with. The other interesting one, and I'm probably saying too much, but the other interesting theme that came up collectively from the politicians or parties uh, is an absolute acceptance uh, that the three big spending departments, delivery departments, um, DWP, Biz and DFE, have got to get their joint act together. Uh, there really has got to be, there were, they, they say the right words, there's a sort of a genuine intent, um, but turning the intent into something really palatable and feasible uh, uh, and tangible uh, is a bit hard to find and they're and they're actually acknowledging that those three departments have actually got to get a much greater shared agenda um, and focusing on the same priorities and making sure their considerable resources even in this tight world um, are really focused on the same agenda so those were uh, a few things that came out yesterday and as I almost listened to myself speak it wasn't a bad day <laughs>